The Art of Mini Art. Hello and welcome dear school modelers to my small hobby YouTube channel. My name is Tomo and like always, thank you so very much for joining me to review some kits. Last week, I have shown you guys some mini art um, diorama pieces and I promised you that this week we're gonna take a look at them, uh, some other stuff and uh, we're gonna be taking a look at their figures and their miscellaneous items such as you can see here on your left and right. Here we have some miscellaneous items which are really interesting from the concrete mixer to this little uh, pump and water set to European cart, some crates and boxes with wine bottles and they're all just so great. So these here are their little figures and they have very interesting figure sets like with this little German with the piggy and then we have the officers here and stuff and it's just fantastic. As you will see, the sprues are not the same. What you talking about, fool? Well, I'm talking about their plastic. During their manufacturing process in the past, I'm pretty certain that they have changed the formula for the plastic or they have just changed the plastic altogether because some of these newer kits have better quality plastic which retains its shape and also has a much cleaner line when they're extruding the plastic through the molds uh, than some of these figures. Yeah, that's basically it. I think it's time to open some boxes up and show you guys what's in them. So hello, uh, these are the piles of boxes of soldiers and miscellaneous items on your right and um, I'm just gonna show you um, couple of these things uh, the most interesting I think um, and if you have some special uh, requests I can show individual sets uh, in the future if you would like to see such so uh, let us start first with figures and then we will move with uh, the miscellaneous items on the right so the first thing that I would like us to see uh, are, are these little figures of German soldiers um, with a little piggy. I think this is a very interesting one to have and uh, yeah, let's just open the box and see what's inside. And with the magic of editing, the bag has disappeared. Well, last uh, week we have seen some any art figures and they were horrible, horrible, with uh, lots of lots of flashing. Although the detail was insane uh you know the rest was not really that insane this set of figures that you will see some of them are good some of them are not that good these ones are pretty good and let me just take you close in so you will see all the glory details as you can see from the close-up shot there is immense detail on all these little figures it's just insane all the creases the wrinkles uh, you know, it's carnage. I know, look, there's a head. And look at that expression on the head. Look at that. It is absolutely fantastic. Just phenomenal. As you can see, even the small leg, the one that's kneeling. I mean, there are some uh, pieces of sprue which are just kind of, um, you know, hanging out there. But they're not terrible. There's not a lot of uh, cleaning to be done. Maybe behind this guy's ear here on this side, you see there's a little bit of a, a doo-doo here. But overall, I think that this is a pretty clean sprue. This next set is British officers, which is also very interesting because you don't, I don't really know that I've seen a lot of these um, British officers with the kilt, you know, um, Scottish ones. And proper British with a beret on top. Um, they're very interesting. I mean, don't you think it's like very, very interesting the way they've, they've positioned them and on the back you have all the necessary colors oh by the way you don't get any uh, paint schemes inside you just you know have the general um, knowledge of what kind of paints they're using uh, and there's a chart where it tells you which uh, colors you should be using which is also very fine so let's open this one up too so just like with the other one um, you have a big bag, well, a small bag, uh, that contains a sprue, and this one actually has a little card, index card, that tells you what you're supposed to get with it. And this is, again, pretty well molded uh, sprue. Um, I'm guessing that this should be some sort of a new line of the, their models, because they are 
pretty well molded. This one has a little bit more flashing and I'm guessing that the gaps on some of the models may be a little bit bad because I don't think this little seam line on this pant pant leg is pants pants leg? Did you say pants? Pant leg is supposed to be visible there. But maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, you know the kilt is nice and textured. You can see his little butt here in the front section. Uh, and then there's the hat and the faces. Faces again are very nicely detailed. Uh, it's a little bit. Uh, this one is a little bit messed up for some reason. You have to clean the nose and the mouth with a knife. I'm guessing you just have to scrape it off a little bit. But I've seen some uh, guys on YouTube putting these things together and they say that they needed a lot of filler. So um, I'm guessing that's an issue. Hopefully it's not on all of the kits, but you know. This next one is of course the American side with some Germans. It's the Battle of the Bulge. Uh, I think it's only fitting. Uh, I think this is a very popular theme. Mm. Again, you get uh, five figures here with the paint schemes and how they're supposed to be painted on the back side. And uh, yeah, it looks cool, so let's look at this one as well. So uh, basic stuff like before, you get a little sheet of paper telling you what you're supposed to put. And here is the horror that, I'm, that I was talking about. See this little sprue? Oh my god. Something in the manufacturing process is going horribly wrong for mini art because... Oh lord, <laughs> look at that. I mean, it's localized on, on this sprue. I don't think it's on this one. No, I don't see a lot of that. But here it's just, ugh. You just have to clean a lot of stuff, you know. You have to clean all the crevices and that can take a while. And uh, if you sand out some of the things uh, too much, you might lose detail. So you have to be really careful not to mess things up. Here, you see the heads? They have the line that goes all the way across their noses and the face so basically you have to be really careful not to mess things up too much you, I, I, you could kind of cut off the guy's nose or something because look at that look at this one it's like terminator it's just ugh. so for the first uh, miscellaneous item we should take a look at this european cart i think it's very cool if you have like horses or if you want to build like a farm diorama I think this would be a very nice addition to your project. You can see the assembly instructions on the back, uh, so you don't get any sheets per se inside. And basically all you need to do is just find some complementary wood colors to paint the whole cart in your liking. So let's open it up inside and take out the contents. Everything comes in like, you know, all one bag. We'll open it up and then we'll take a closer look. So you get four sprues for this particular cart. And let's take a look at the first one. And right off the bat, I can tell you that this is just an amazingly cast sprue. Um, with details that just go crazy. Look at those boards. Look at the grain, the wood grain on the planks. It is just insane. But like with all things, there is some horrible things happening on the edges. Not that as much as I would think that it would, but there are still present. And even the wheels and the wheel spokes are uh, pretty well detailed. I mean, for a plastic model of this scale, uh, you can see the individual wooden supports and then the uh, metal ring that goes around it as well as some pegs that hold the spokes inside, which is just, again, a level of detail that is just, and it's crazy. Uh, two smaller ones, which have all the rest of the planks and uh, the supports that are needed for assembly. Let's take a closer look at them as well. You have nice boards, supports, and you can see all the iron that supports the beams, the wooden posts together. Uh, well, this is a, Interesting, a rod, which is, I don't know what that's for, but you know, it's there. Uh, let's see, there's like the supports, they have the flashing all around, and then this round pegs. I don't think these are like uh, on the, these are like hubs, 
the hubs um, for the wheels probably and then the bottom frame the bottom side is it's it's still detailed you can still see the wooden uh, structure even on the bottom side look at that this is the concrete mixer set and it caught my eye because it's pretty unique I mean you if you want to spice up your diorama if you're doing some sort of construction work put something on the background to fill it up I mean this is like a very unique thing you don't see a lot of things like that so on the back side you can see the appropriate colors with all the color schemes on the bottom you can, I'll zoom out so you can see which manufacturers they support uh, they're basic colors I mean they're not like totally off the rack you have to mix too many colors but you know the basic uh, colors for this build and let's open this baby up and see what's inside and you can see there's a little with this one a little instruction sheet how to assemble everything it's pretty straightforward there's like a wheelbarrow and concrete mixer and how you assemble the box where the uh, electronics is and then of course some other stuff that they have and then of course the model itself which comes in this bag again everything is kind of crammed in one bag uh, so here we have castings or extrusions or how you call them of the basic concrete mixer uh, the molds are are better far better than the other ones um, as you can see pretty well from the video and it's really nice detail like metal with some rivets and some exhaust vents here on this side raised detail is pretty nice I'm guessing this is a newer mold um, because it's not nearly as, as, as crappy as the other ones the old ones I guess either they were hiring or renting out some sort of tools to make molds or they were just learning how to make them properly in the little sandbags here see but this one feels much better and even the plastic feels a little bit different I'm, I'm guessing they changed the formula for the plastic maybe it's just me but I I kind of have the feeling that this plastic is a little bit different from the other figures that I've shown you just a while ago um, this plastic feels a little thicker, a little bit more expensive, I'm guessing. And even the sprue ends, look at those, these are really thick and rigid. The other ones were really kind of flimsy. Um, the, the shovels and the, what is the spade? And the little pick, wow. And the hammer, and another hammer. It's really nice, look, I'll take you close. pretty nice see it this, this one is actually very good you you'll have an enjoyable time putting this together in the wheelbarrow this is how they should all be in little uh, buckets here so pretty nice set so uh, let us move on to the more interesting one which are the champagne bottles so this is the little champagne cognac bottles with crates uh, they also have beer bottles and uh, wooden bottles uh, with wine crates. Um, it's basically the same stuff, just different type of bottle and uh, different labels that you can put on. But this is again a very uh, unique miscellaneous item that you can put on your diorama. Uh, like a bootlegging diorama with gangsters and stuff. Uh, maybe not with champagne, but like beer stuff bottles, which could be cool. Here you have very simple instructions how to assemble the crates and put all the bottles in. Of course, with this one, uh, you don't really have to paint the bottles. The bottles are already painted, but you do need to weather and paint the crates themselves. And then you have some stickers to put on. So I'll just briefly show you what, 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 what I'm talking about. So as you can see from here, without even me taking it out, you have some water slide decals very finely printed uh, we have some brand of cognac and champagne I'm guessing from that vintage era where you can just put it on and then the first the science for the crates themselves which is just groovy 
this is just great um yeah and then of course you have two types of bottles i'll just quickly open this bag up to show you okay so crates come with you know wooded plastic uh, finish uh, so you don't have to do the base coat in um, i guess what's this brown wood brown um they again have a lot of detail if you zoom in closer you can see the crates with the wooden texture see very nice indeed indeed they do and even the separators for the bottles have textures that's just so fantastic and then you have uh, a couple of these sprues which are basically just bottles and they're cast or molded in their or, transparent plastic this one is green and the other one is more like a reddish brownish color okay so the last one on this miscellaneous item list is going to be this water pump set which i think is very fantastic if you're building like a village this is a must-have uh, this is how it looks on the back it's very straightforward instructions and here you actually get some uh, p parts for the handles and these are the respectable colors that you need for this build from various different manufacturers nothing really fancy so let's just open it up quickly all the spruce come in a little bag uh, these are just some of the uh, what are these milk crates milk cartons mid milk care containers whoa sorry uh, or soup containers which are just great this is also the new plastic much more rigid much more solid uh, it feels better and uh, overall it retains its shape it doesn't have any flashing crap on it you know little bucket that we've seen before and we have the little water pump itself here which is just fantastic made out of two parts which will go together probably pretty easy and then we have a little bucket here there's a little bit of a, a, a injector pin mark on the bottom but you know that's not nothing it's really nothing as long as the inside is clear which it is I think this is just a big winner and we have a little drainage uh, cover here and then of course we have a little a little uh, cardboard envelope which contains the p parts for the uh, buckets and it is pretty nice look at that look at that look at that basically just uh, some half circles for the buckets well with that we are done uh, back to the studio francois Mm. Oh, you uh, you're done. Whew. So you made it through another video. Congratulations! Why don't you celebrate by subscribing to my channel? It's really fun. You get to click, and don't forget to click that notification bell icon on the bottom screen. It will let you know exactly when I upload, and that's a mystery, baby. Now you're really listening. I want to thank you so very much for watching. If you have been, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you again soon in the next one. Bye-bye.